Hi, I'm Kate. Hello, I'm Suzanne. And this is our third episode of the Mars Minute, where we select an episode of Veronica Mars and bring an issue to you that we would like to discuss from that episode. This week, we're going to be talking about the third episode from the first season, Meet John Smith. But before that, we have a couple of important announcements. First of all, we'd like to say to our very favorite follower, Lila. Hi, Lila. Hey, Lila. And to Lila's mom, we're going to try our best not to curse throughout this episode so she can watch it all. (laughs) And if Kate does swear, we promise to bleep it out. And I apologize in advance for my potty mouth. And so uh, we also reached 146 followers. So that is super exciting. Thanks to all of our followers on Tumblr. Um, Yay. Thank Uh, you. Thank you guys so much. (laughs) This week's episode, like I said, we're talking about Meet John Smith. We're going to be starting what we hope is a recurring segment called Who's Who's Got Got Game? Game? And what is Who's Got Game, Kate? It is a uh, segment where we are going to rank from five to one who demonstrates in the episode how much game they got. So for this episode, we're going to be ranking um, Justin Smith, Troy Vandegraaff, Duncan Kane, Keith Mars, and our girl Veronica. Notice that we left out Logan Eccles. This was purely on purpose so that we didn't have to address the orange pants issue. (laughs) No one wants to address that issue. We're going to kick off our countdown. Who is number five in Who's Got Game? Number five is Justin Smith, who has, I personally feel like he has some game in this episode. Um, So what you said was he comes up with a reason to talk to Veronica, but he lies so it never gets anywhere. I personally think she pushed him into a public bathroom in front of all of his friends in high school. Like, you you know he got serious points for his friends for that. And, like, he is probably still getting high fives 10 years later. You know he brings that up at every party. And one thing I will say that I love about Justin is that he is an appreciator of the inherent hotness of Veronica Mars. He is. Right? The first two episodes, we kind of get the impression that Veronica Mars is a little bit of an outcast. But here is Justin and her friend saying that she is awesome. And Justin loves that she's a PI. He also thinks she's smoking hot. And so from where I'm standing, Justin is one of the smartest people on the show so far. I completely agree. Um, unfortunately, though, he ranks at our bottom of Who's Got Game. Uh Purely because it goes absolutely nowhere. Veronica is clearly not interested in the freshman. Number four in Who's Got Game is Duncan Kane. The reason why Duncan Kane ranks in number four is yes, in this episode, he doesn't have a ton of game, okay? He vacillates between ignoring Veronica and being a little manic. We totally understand that that has to do with him kind of adjusting some medication issues. But he does definitely vacillate. It's hard to know where he stands. However, in Veronica's dream sequence, it is pretty dang clear that Duncan at one point had some game. She is remembering that Duncan had some game. He played it and she enjoyed playing it too. So that's why Duncan is number four. And number three is Troy Vandegraaff. Uh, he has some flirty, over sexual banter, but Veronica clearly thinks it's hilarious. Uh, Extra points because when she bats away from the kiss, he doesn't freak out. He plays it off as a joke and offers her a very sweet handshake. <laughs> it takes a special kind of guy that can make a handshake and then that, like a game move. That bow as well. That was the courtly, the courtly bow. Points with that. I really like that. Yeah. Uh, number two is our favorite girl P.I., our only girl P.I. on the show, Veronica Mars. Veronica Mars herself. The reason why we picked Veronica Mars as our number two, yes, she was a little awkward with the goodnight kiss with Troy. However, when she figures out that she wants to be with Troy, she takes that guy and she kisses him, which is a clear mark of some game. And then further, at the end of the episode, 
when she's kind of going through an emotionally hard time, rather than do what a lot of people characterize as doing as shutting down and holding herself up in a room, she actually seeks somebody out to help her. And so she's got physical games, grabbing the guy and kissing him. And she's also got emotional games. Way to stick up for your emotional boundaries, Veronica. And finally, our number one winner is, of course, Keith Mars. He just wins uh, from the subtle scoping at the coffee shop uh, to showing up to defend his daughter. Uh, Keith Mars, we all know, has got game. That smooth mo- mother exploitive hot day. <laughs> I would just like to point out how good Keith Mars is at multitasking. Because in that counselor's office with Rebecca, is there for a parent counselor meeting, but he is also able to discern quickly that he has a crush on this woman and figure out where her coffee place is, storing that information away for future use. Multitasker, mad game. That concludes our new segment, Who's Got Game? Uh, Keith Mars wins at everything. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story. Thank you so much for again watching this episode of the Mars Minute. If you disagree with our ranking, if you think Weevil or Logan or somebody else should have been a part of the top five, feel free to respond with who you think has the most game in Meet John Smith. And feel free to leave your comments below, and we'll definitely be checking them out. Um, I think that's all for now. Oh, we have to do we have to do an adorable sign off. We do I have to do our adorable sign off. So why don't you initiate our adorable sign off? Okay. Oh dear. Most adorable of all sign offs. <laughs> we win the sign off game. Okay. So, uh, bye guys. Thanks so much for watching. Is that still cool? Is air guns still cool?